Well, Stanis, I mean, you've been blogging about this today. You've been blogging about this, these banqueting facilities and so on. You clearly are of the view this isn't over. Oh, no, the, the, the banqueting facilities issue is a new can of worms for us. We're now discovering that MPs who have commercial interests are having uh, 150 people to an event where they've got a commercial relationship, maybe with a lobbying firm, maybe as chairman of a company. You know, you had an event last July where you had the Environmental Investors Network, 150 people in the members' dining room. At the same time, you were raising £2 million for a company you were chairman of, um, AFC Energy. You know, you, you made £80,000 out of the deal. How many people at that event that you sponsored, the 150 investors there, invested in your company? Well, I have to say that's an absolutely outrageous allegation. The two events are completely unconnected. How many, how many I'm not, have, how many I'm not that aware that a not, single person, that a, that a single person from the Environmental, environmental Investors Network put any money to that company. I have certainly not discussed my company with a single person at that party. That's an absolutely outrageous allegation. I think but you should withdraw it straight away. It seems, it seems very... Are you, are you suggesting I in some way acted improperly? Are you, saying are, you, are you suggesting that? Are you saying... No, are you suggesting that? Are you saying that not I can one tell you, single... I did, person at that event invested in the company that you were raising money for How on earth in that would time. I know? I in the five I months I after you had that event, I did not discuss you this had £80,000 from that company. I did, I, I did not discuss the money that my company was raising with a single person at that event, either before it, at it, or after it. And if you're suggesting that I've acted in any way improperly, I think you should restore well, that right away. I think there's a question of probity about mixing politics and business in and, Parliament well, uh, at a subsidised event. My interests are completely events. transparent. They are totally disclosed. In the, I've abided by every single requirement of the House. I've leant over backwards to make sure there could be no possible suggestion of any conflict of interest, and it is an outrageous let, suggestion of you to, to Im, Im, improve let, anything Let else. me bring Tony Wright in on the wider issue. Can I make absolutely clear, in view of this quite unjustified slur that's taken place on the program, that I am one of the MPs who has not been asked to pay a single penny back, that my expenses have been absolutely in order, and the event which was referred to was one I was asked to, to sponsor. I received no gain from doing so at all. I will never sponsor another event if this is the kind of unjustified slur which your program allows to go out about me. You see, if, if MPs feel like that, that they can't, uh, you know, uh, sponsor events and so on, we're going to lose... Our, our well, democracy is going to lose... One I individual. Why would he want to? Why, why, exactly. Why would he want to? I don't think Tim should be mixing business. I'm not and I did this, I did this as a, He shouldn't as a, as a be hosting to commercial. the environmental investments. And I will certainly say now I will never do so again because apparently it opens me to some completely so unjustified attack. It's not the first attack. time you've had a conflict of interest with it, business and politics. I have never had any conflict of you, interest. And you, you have, know that. well, EcoCity. Um, you know perfectly Eco well there's never been any conflict you, of interest in my business. Okay, I, I, I think we're going to get into details that are beyond, beyond my ability well, to been, comprehend. You've been in trouble but, for this kind of thing before. I've never been in trouble for it. That is absolutely untrue. You, you backed the legis you 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 legislation that favoured the interests you of another company you're involved that statement. in. You cannot possibly support that statement. All my business interests are properly disclosed. They have never affected my political judgment in any way. Okay. You cannot point to a single instance. I'm where pointing at Eco City. Gentlemen, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm sorry. Thank you.